G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now what happens when you move a loop component file, a .fluid or a .loop file from its original location in OneDrive and can you actually store these in a SharePoint document library instead? Now they're the two topics that we're going to tackle in this video. Now as we know, when we create a loop component or insert a loop component into Outlook or into a Teams chat, it stores that file or that components file in the creator's OneDrive for Business. Now, not um, not in a location that is uh, relevant a lot of the time. So there might be times where we want to move that file, or can we even move it to a SharePoint document library? Let's have a look. So we can see here I am logged in as Alex, and we're just going to fire up a new email message to Adele, and we're going to insert just a simple loop component. So let's start an email. We'll start Adele. Uh, let's go task uh, project checklist. And what we'll do here is we will insert our loop component from the ribbon and we will go our uh, checklist. So let's add a few items to our checklist. Um, let's go project kickoff um, list and let's paste a few items in our checklist. So we've got our checklist um, ready to go here. So we're gonna send that to Adele, all right? So that has now been sent. Adele is going to now get an email um, and with that loop component in the body of the email. And we can see here that email has just come through. We click on the email, we open the email up and we can see that we've got this loop component embedded into the body of the email. It's live, it's in sync, and we are good to go to start interacting with it. Now. Where is this actual uh, loop component file stored? So if I go now into the start page of Microsoft 365, we can see that that has just now appeared in my quick access. So if I hover, go to more options, go to open, uh, and then open file location, what we're going to see is that this is now located into a folder in my files and attachments. Okay, so when we start a loop component or embed a loop component in an email, that's where the files or the loop file is actually stored. You can see it's a dot loop file. Now what happens when we start it from Microsoft Teams? So let's do the same thing. So I'm in Teams and let's start a new chat with Adele. All right, so same thing, Adele. Uh, let's now pop in another loop component and let's go discussion topics as the component uh, title. Let's go discussion uh, topics. Let's go um, executive sponsors. Let's go key stakeholders. Um, purpose of the intranet and that'll do us okay and now we'll send that component so now we've just sent another individual component to adele you can see that syncing it's now been embedded but where's this file actually located so let's now jump again back onto the microsoft 365 start page we can see that discussion topics loop component file has now appeared here too. But where is this one? So we'll go to open and we'll go to open file location. So again, we are inside of OneDrive, but in a different folder. So now we've got a, uh, a loop component file in Microsoft Teams chat files. And you can see that there's the dot loop file. Whereas the one where we started in Outlook start, uh, gets located in the my files attachment. So we've got two locations here where these attachments are stored. Now, what happens now if I I want to create a, uh, maybe I want to create a central location for my loop files, for example. So let's go out into my files and let's have a look here. So I've got this personal folder. Um, actually, let's create a new folder called my loop components. All right, so we'll create a folder, my loop components, and let's move a couple of things into there. So we're going to start with the attachment. So it's a project checklist uh, that we are going to move. All right, so let's select this. Let's hit the three little dots. Let's go move to, and we'll move it to that location that we just created. So we'll go to my files, and then we'll go to my loop components, and then we'll move that file there. So you can see it's now moving, top right hand corner. That has now been moved. Um, and we are now, we've now changed the location. So if I go to my loop components, we can see there that there is that component. Now what happens to the file itself and what happens to uh, where we've embedded that? So remembering that we embedded that into the body of an email, 
Okay, um, so what does that actually do? And what does that look like, like on the other end? So here we are here logged in as Adele. Uh, Adele was the person that we sent that, uh, that checklist across to in the body of the email. And you can see that there's no change here. So we've moved it from the, its original location in the attachments folder, we've moved it to a, a new folder, but we can see it's now live still, right, in the body of the email. So I'm just gonna refresh just to make sure that uh, everything is uh, uh, live and up to date and we can see here that that's still rendering and now when we click on let's say we've we've checked we're going to check these three off now okay so we've checked that off let's go back into the actual um, loop component itself and we can see here's the file when I open that file you'll see that it is the same, right? It's it's live, it's in sync, even though I have moved it. So you can actually move those loop component files around inside of your OneDrive and that sync still stays with that file, all right? So it's dynamic. Now, what happens when we do the same thing in Microsoft Teams? So we can see here, there's the discussion topics. So remembering when we go back into our uh, OneDrive here, we've got this folder called Microsoft Teams chat files. So what happens when we move this one? So let's move this one as well. So we'll go move to into that folder that we just created. So we'll navigate back up the tree here. We'll go to my, my loop components and we'll go move here. So again, that's moving, moving, moving. And that is now complete. Disappearing from there, we'll jump into my files, we'll go to my loop components. And now we've got two of our component files in there. So let's jump into Teams. Let's give this a refresh. I'm in the browser here, but let's have a look and see what the experience is like here. So refreshing and I'm logged in as Alex. I'll jump across into, I'll grab Megan's um, Adele's up as well. So we can see that's now refreshing, syncing, and we should be good to go when that refreshes. So I've also got Adele's over here. So you can see I've got Adele's, it's still live. Let's click on, we've finished that one. Now let's go for, um, Alex to complete that one. So we've now got two ticked off there. Okay, so again, even though we've moved that file, and if I jump back into my loop components into this file here, let's click on the uh, file itself. It's gonna open up in the web browser. And what we're going to see is the same thing, right? So we've got that component uh, in, um, in sync, even though that we have moved it. Now, interesting point here. What happens or can we move these files now into a SharePoint library? Let's have a look. So we're gonna to go to the project checklist. So let's go ahead and move one of these loop component files into SharePoint. So let's choose, let's select the project checklist uh, dot loop file and let's go move to and we'll select a SharePoint location here. So we've got a site here, pin to quick access, US sales. Now let's go, uh, let's actually pick a Microsoft Teams channel. So let's go to Sales East and let's move it into the Sales East channel. That's moving top right hand corner, you can see it whirring away there and we're good to go. So let's jump into Teams, we'll jump into US sales, we'll jump into Sales uh, East and then we'll click on files and we can see that we've got our loop component here. So that loop, that project loop component is now part of Microsoft Teams, okay? Now, what happens to where that's now embedded, all right? So remembering that this started off as in the body of an email, okay? We've now moved it to a different location inside of OneDrive, which was okay, okay? It still kept its, its, uh, its sync. But now, when I've, now that I've moved that, let's have a look at what happens to the body of the email. We can see that this component is no longer available, all right? So we, we've, we've now moved it and it's not available anymore in, that, in the body of the email, but it is inside of SharePoint here, right? So when I click this now and open it, that's still the same component. You can see that we've still got the three things that have been ticked off, right? But we can't access it through the body of that email. So that means now what we can do is we can actually even um, use the document library functionality of, um, 
of SharePoint to be able to now use this file as a normal file. We could even potentially now, um, you know, reshare this. So what we could do is now open this up in the brow in the browser this time. Okay, and we could even share this now and resend this in the body of an email. All right, so we could go copy link and then we could copy that. We'll open up our email again. Let's go to a new mail message. And what we could do is paste that component into the body of another email now, and then it's using that new location. Or we could do the same thing inside of a uh, inside of a Teams chat. So if we jump into chat and we jump into the uh, message window here and we paste that component, even though it's living in a SharePoint document library, we've still got the ability to now insert that into different endpoints. So we once again, just recapping, we've moved it, we've created it inside of uh, Outlook. It's, it's automatically been created in a special folder inside of your OneDrive called Attachments. We've then moved it out of Attachments into a folder called My Loop Components. And now what we've done is we've moved that file or that component out of OneDrive completely, and now it's being stored in a SharePoint document library. So you could have all of your loop team loop components inside of a SharePoint team site as well, right? So you could store those components inside of there. Now, the other thing that we can do now with the loop application, I'm gonna open up this workspace here called Intranet Working Group. All right, so what we could do is now have a loop page. We could embed now and insert that component. It's living in the SharePoint document library, library, remember? We're gonna share this, we're gonna copy the link, and then what we're going to do is inside of this loop uh, page here, we're gonna paste that, and now that has brought that component into this workspace as well. So we do have the, the ability to move things around if we wanted to as well all right so those remembering that a loop component is really just a new type of file and we can move move things around it does in some instances break that um, if it's been embedded into somewhere it could potentially break that link but we do have that capability to be able to move them around so there we have it I hope that brings you some value today uh, creating loop, loop components moving them around and even storing them in a SharePoint document document library is actually able to be done. I hope that brings some value. Thanks for watching. See you next time.